Now I'm going to show you how to configure a backups uh, lifecycle policy. If you open the Sixing Backup Interactive menu, there is a section called Backups Lifecycle Settings. Just uh, go ahead and select the, the option. Inside, you will see okay, the first question is uh, to enable the backups uh, lifecycle. So, run uh, yes here. Then, a lot of new options are displayed. So, you can configure retention for uh, different uh, backup levels and, and archive block. So, you can access here to the daily retention. So uh, here you can view the, the, the retention for daily backups. So you can view the, the number of days, just a week. Okay. Then we are going to configure the weekly retention here. Okay. Also the same retention days, one month in that case. So we choose the, the day of the week uh, that the, the weekly backups will be executed. So uh, Sixlink Backup will consider um, a weekly backup, the backup that is uh, executed in, in that day. So if you choose uh, Sunday, um, if your full backup is executed in, in Sunday, this backup is considered uh, a weekly backup and the life cycle uh, for the um, weekly backups will be applied. In that case, uh, 30 days of uh, retention. The same for the monthly, the monthly backups. We configure the, the, number of, the number of days. In that case, three months. Then you can specify um, a weekday of every month, you can specify the first day of the month or the last day. So in that day, that backup will be considered a monthly backup and the lifecycle policy regarding monthly backups will be applied. So here we will choose the first day of every month. So the day one of every month, your, uh, I don't know, full backup will be considered a, a monthly backup and a 30 days retention policy will be applied. Uh, the same for the yearly backups. Um, you can specify the, the number of days. So one year for yearly backups and uh, the same that uh, for the monthly ones. Uh, the, the first day of the year, the backup executed in the first day of the year will be considered a yearly backup and the yearly uh, lifecycle policy will be applied. Okay, let specify first day of the, day of the year, sorry. Okay, so now We can also configure that, that option that uh, is uh, every time that a uh, cycling backup is executed uh, because of a full backup, an incremental backup, archive log, and so on. Uh, the, exp the, ex the expired backup will be automatically removed. Removed uh, means removed from the cycling backup and also from the storage provider. Uh, you can select uh, yes here, or you can uh, execute uh, manually this uh, this deletion using cyclic mag. We will configure yes here, and that's it. Uh, we configured all the lifecycle uh, policies for our backups.